Hello watch fans, this is Anders here on Time and Crown channel. So what is the perfect size of watch for your wrist? And what is the current fashion, the current trend within the size of wristwatches? Before me here I have a selection of watches. Most of these watches are my own personal watches. The only one that is not mine is the Volcan Skin Diver Nautique. You can find a review of this watch down in the description or up in the right hand corner now. The other watches here on the table are my personal watches and I'm really contemplating which size of watch is the perfect watch size for me. Of course you want different sizes of watches in your collection, but personally I'm going towards smaller watches now. So most of these watches are actually 38 millimeters in diameter and that is the size of watch I have found now is almost the perfect size for my wrist. So let's just talk about these watches and also just have a look at comparing these watches in sizes. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button. It is a big help. It's also a big help if you like this video and comment down in the comment section. Thanks a lot. So here we have four 38 millimeter sized watches. We have, as I mentioned before, the Volcan Skin Diver Nautique. This is the blue and gold, the newest iteration of the lineup of dive watches. We have my personal Zenith El Primero, original 1969, 38mm chronograph watch. We have this vintage gem from the 60s or maybe 70s, it's quite hard to find out. This is a Rola, this is a Eastern German watch, 38mm in diameter. And then we have a Hamilton Omar's watch, this is the Boltony Khaki Pilot, which is also 38 millimeters in diameter. On the other side here, we have my Le Jour, my personal watch here, my vintage, yeah, let's call it skin diver. They called them skin divers back in the days, but they weren't really dive watches. Watch here, this is 36 millimeters in diameter. Then we have my 39 millimeter Rolex Explorer. We have a 39 millimeter watch on the table as well. We have my 40 millimeter Rolex GMT Master to have a 40 millimeter watch. Then my personal Panerai Luminor Marina. This is also a 40 millimeter watch and that is just to show you how much size can really kind of cheat. And then my latest acquisition which goes quite against what I said before leaning towards smaller watches because this is 42.3 millimeters in diameter. This is the brand new Luminox Pacific Diver Automatic, their first automatic dive watch. Link down in the description or up in the right hand corner if you want to see the full review of this watch. I have a 17 centimeter wrist circumference and you see this is a 38 millimeter watch from Volcane and I think it's the perfect size. This is a dive watch 200 meters of water resistance. So what do you think? 38 millimeters, is that the right size for me? Is 36 the right size or is it too small? Is 39 millimeters the right size? Is a vintage 40 millimeter Rolex size my size? As you see here, very slim. They used to make these Rolex sports watches very slim, short lock to lock distance. Back when Rolex made really nice wearable watches this is also a 40 millimeter watch it looks so much bigger than the rolex probably because you have a lot of dial on the panerai luminor marina this is just to say what i talked about earlier in this video size does deceive 40 millimeter isn't 40 millimeters you actually have to try on a watch before you find the right size for you it's a 42.3 millimeter watch with a 49 millimeter lock to lock distance too much for my wrist size or is it the perfect sports watch size? Luminox Pacific Diver Automatic. Link to the review down in the description or at the end of this video. Here the Eastern German ruler. This measures less than 44 millimeters lock tip to lock tip because of the cushion shaped case. It is a 38 millimeter diameter watch. But as you see, it wears much smaller than the Volcane. 
And here you can maybe sense the lock-to-lock -lock distance. The Vulcan has longer locks, but it wears bigger also because it has a little more dial than the ruler. And how about two 40mm watches side by side? As you see, the Panerai is of course much thicker than the Rolex. And as the Panerai has almost no bezel compared to the Rolex, it looks much bigger, but they are essentially the same size, these two watches. And how about 39 and 38? You get a lot of dial on the Zenith and less dial on the Rolex, but longer locks on the Rolex. So it looks like the Zenith is a little bit bigger. And does the Luminox, which is 2.3 millimeters bigger than the Panerai, look that much bigger side by side here? I think it looks almost the same size, but it is essentially a much bigger watch in diameter and longer locks. So to conclude, I think the personal favorite size for me is between 38 and 40 millimeters in diameter. 42 it depends on the watch, it can become a little too big, for example my Omega Seamaster Diver 300, I feel it's a bit too big, but it's actually almost the same size as the Panerai. So the real point of this video is to never let size deceive you, never let numbers deceive you, you have to try on a watch. Or at least know that the watch compares to another watch you have tried before or that you already own in your collection. Because I have tried on 36mm watches, they are too small, I think this wears perfect. I have tried on 44mm watches, I think they are too big, but they actually wear really nice. My sweet spot, again, is between 38 and 40mm in diameter, but some watches which are bigger are also really nice and wearable. So never let numbers deceive you, go to the AD and try on the watch or contact somebody you know if they have a watch of the same type or the same size and try the watch on because you can never really count on numbers alone, you have to try on a watch. So here from Time and Crown channel, I just wish you nice watch hunting. Remember to try on the watches and have a nice time hunting for your next lovely watch for your collection. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will see you soon again. Thank you. Bye.